Welcome to this course on workplace organization using the 5S approach. Five S is the foundation of any improvement initiative in the organization. Many people mistakenly believe that Five S is just housekeeping, but it's far more than that. Five S uses a list of five Japanese words, which are seri, seiten, siso, saikatsu, and shitsuk. These, when translated to English, approximately mean sort, set in order, shine, standardize. And sustain. Sorting is the first step in making a work area tidy. Only keep those things in your work area that are necessary for getting the job done. Materials, tools, equipment, and supplies that are not frequently used should be moved to a separate, common storage area. Items that are not used should be discarded. Having a cross-functional team helps in identification of unnecessary items. If you are not sure whether an item is necessary or not, a red tag is attached on it. Once these are identified, they can then be evaluated. Step 2 is to organize, arrange, and identify everything in a work area for the most efficient and effective retrieval. Commonly used tools should be readily available. Storage areas, cabinets and shelves should be properly labeled. The objective of this step is to have a well-identified and labeled place for everything and have everything in its place. Where possible, use labels, color codes, signboards, pictures, and graphics to facilitate recognition. Items used most often should be the most easily accessible. Workers should not have to bend repetitively to access materials. Once you have everything sorted and straightened, you need to keep it that way. This requires regular cleaning or shining, which is the third S. Regular shining is needed, otherwise everything will return to the way it was. Regular shining and inspection makes it easy to spot small problems, such as lubricant leaks, equipment misalignment, breakage, missing tools and low levels of supplies. Problems can be identified and fixed when they are small. The shine process should not be left for a special crew. It should be the responsibility of all. Each team should establish the methods and responsibilities for routine cleaning as well as deep cleaning. To ensure that the first three steps in your 5S program continue to be effective, the fourth step is to simplify and standardize. The good practices developed in steps 1 through 3 should be standardized and made easy to accomplish. Develop a work structure that will support the new practices and make them into habits. As you learn more, update and modify the standards to make the process simpler and easier. It is easy to slip back into what you have been doing for years. Use standards to help people work into new habits that are a part of your 5S program. An easy way to make people aware of and remind them about the standards is to use labels, signs, posters and banners. The final step is to continue training and maintaining the standards. Have a formal system for monitoring the results of your 5S program. Continue to educate people about maintaining standards. A management auditing process should be put into practice to ensure that employees understand and maintain the level of workplace organization. Be sure to publicize success stories and provide appropriate rewards and recognition to team members. It is very obvious that a neat and clean workplace will lead to improvement in space utilization, productivity, employee moral their commitment to improvement, product quality, work environment, and safety. This will also reduce wastes.